Here's another photo I took when I was um, strolling around Sutton Park over the weekend. So we've got quite a high horizon line, but some nice foreground shadows there we could have a go at. All the usual gear, you'll see a whole list of materials in the uh, video description. So a quick look at the photo and let's get started. So let's start with the big paintbrush and I'm just coating it all over in clean water and then see how the air's just fray slightly so all I do I just dip the dip the very tips in the water just to bring them all back together again. Right, then I'm gonna go a bit of rush here now. Maybe it's just a lizard in there as well just to bury it up in the sky. And as we come lower and lower, just keep bashing it in. And that's sort of just a nice little background flow there. A bit of blue in the sky, so I'm just giving ultramarine. Because the horizon line is quite high, so there's not too much sky there anyway. So what I'm going to do next is put in this, I can just about see some real distant far land. So I'm giving raw sienna, same colours again. And it's sort of, right up there somewhere, just, just see something in the distance. There's quite a lot of trees in front of this, so they're in a... We're going to see too much, just a, just a hint of something there. Um, shall I dry it? Oh, no. I'm not going to dry it yet, I might just pull it tight a bit though, because it is stretching. It's not properly fully stretched yet. You can stretch it before you start painting if you want. Um, I'm just the impatient type, I like to just get on with it. So I've got less water on the brush now. Now because the paper is already wet, I'm going to have to compensate for that by making the, uh, the paint thicker. So as I push this on there, you see it's going on a lot thicker than it was in the background. That's a bit higher there. And this stage, see? See the trunks here and there. I'm going to dry it. Needs to be a bit dry. It doesn't have to be bone dry, as long as it's drier than it was. It'll go on a bit thicker. Thicker than what's already there. See, I'll see the difference now with that. See when I do the trunks now, it's, it's not filling in, it's going straight on. Also, a bit of finger work and also put a few more in with a little brush. A few little things happening in there. Few twigs and branches there hiding amongst all the earth foliage. That's what I'm gonna do for that. And then as the paint paper as these trees come around there. So I'm just being careful not to just completely block it all in. I want to see some of the sky behind it. Just introducing just a little bit of lemon yellow. No, I didn't notice it. I might need to just dry the brush slightly. Clean the brush rather. Try it on the tea towel, let's go into that lemon yellow. And just pop a bit in here. It's 
do a bit of ultramarine, lemon yellow, pale grey, it's getting a bit darker. Bit dark down there, a few more shadows. Um, put a few branches in with this brush now. Yeah, sort of big tree on the side there, so the branches are coming across, coming across our view. Using the corner of the brush here, few little leaves in and there. And I'll clean the brush. And a bit more, a bit more water. Such a light red, just a hint. So, only a little bit because it's very, very strong that light red. And it'll soon dominate what's on the page. A bit up there as well. Clean the brush. Into the lemon yellow and then just bring it out. Let the pass over here, so I'm just bringing it up to this pack. That's enough for that side. Now moving over to the other side, we have just using the corner of the brush, and just like a mass of foliage just up there, like that. And a bit of, a bit of blue, just to darken it. So you're just constantly trying to vary the uh, colours as I come down. And it's getting quite dark down there, mixing in lots of shadows. And yeah, just using a fingernail, a few, a few tree trunks in there. It'll need to be about half dry. If you do this when it's too wet, it'll just fill straight back in. Obviously, if it's too dry, it's not going to come off at all. Um, Bit of brown, bit of blue. And I'm just going to put a few trunks in. Yeah, these are sort of some big ones up there. A few right off the top of the page. Put a few more twigs in with a little brush, plenty of water. I'm just going brown, burnt umber, ultramarine, mixing it down here as well. And then if I just clean the brush, scuff it up on the tea towel, and I'm just going to some colour here. 
the brush is going to be dry when you do this because otherwise you'll just block it straight in. And go to the sky behind the trees. Uh, it's just lemon yellow, a bit of ultramarine, paint is grey. stretch slightly so I'm just gonna pull it tight and refix it and then next thing to do we have I'm gonna put a figure in just about to see a little figure walking up into the distance so I'm switching to the little brush again um should do this goes like a like a red a red top Trousers. Little, little head on there, and then always like to do like a like a little dog, a little dog with them. Right, what we need now is some. Uh, some shadow, so first gotta make sure it's dry. Back to the height brush and make a sort of quite a strong shadowy colour because I want it to look quite dramatic. So, a little bit of uh, water in the uh, in the brush, but I want this to be quite fairly strong. I'm just giving burnt umber, ultramarine. Just to make a sort of shadowy colour. I want to make sure I've got enough on my brush, so I'm going to reload it. And then, so the shadows are coming from this direction behind, sort of down there. So if you can imagine, so we've got some great ones coming up there like that. We've got a shadow running up there like that. And we've got these ones down there. It's like a like a tree behind us casting a shadow straight across. I think I'm going to leave it at that, so quick dry. Down there. 
sort of painting. So let's see what it looks like with the uh, mounts on it. This is what our picture looks like, all mounted up. So if we go and have a closer look at it, or actually first, just have another quick look at the photo to see how it compares. I've not really changed a great deal from the composition, to be honest. Just got a very simple sky, predominantly raw sienna lizard and crimson, and then a bit of ultramarine blue there for the bits between the clouds. The most distant trees put in using the same colours as the sky. Uh, corner of the hate brush and then a little brush there just for these smaller smaller twigs and branches and then just introduce a little bit of yellow, lemon yellow as we got nearer and nearer. See some of these uh, the, the little white white tree trunks. So you just put those in very simply, just a quick quick scrape of the fingernail. And they go in no problem at all. As long as you as long as the paint's about half dry. Let's do a few more little scrapes on this side. Like say if, if it's too wet it'll just fill back in. And we've got some nice green grass in the foreground and then sort of that uh, reddy browny what what you call it in the behind it. And so the green and then uh, just a touch of light red. Touch of light red and a bit of uh, raw sienna. Just to try and create that, so those same colours. Little figure walking off there into the distance. Changed it slightly, just made this one walk in a dog. And then finally we've got these shadows cast from behind us. So I've tried to put them in nice and strong, make them as dramatic as I can. Real shady area over here and then a few shadows cast over our... Um, friends there. Well, that's my little painting of uh, Sutton Park um, going through, uh, where was it, Streetly Gate. Um, thanks for watching, keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.